Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamu alaikum. So in this video we will learn how to find uh, MAE that's mean absolute error which is equal to sum of the absolute difference between the observed and expected values and divide by the total number of observations. Okay, and a mean square error that's the sum of the difference square between observed and expected and divide by the total number of observation that's in. Uh, the root mean square error is very simple. Just make a square root of the M is E and it will provide the R M is E. Okay, we can find also on this equation as well that R M is E is equal to that is the square root of the sum of the observed minus expected whole square and that is divided by the N. So let's start uh, how to find we have here 13 observations that's so 13 observation observed and expected. So the first thing we need to find the difference between the observed and expected. Okay uh, so this is we need equal that's observed uh, B2 minus uh, C2 and just click enter this will provide a minus 0.26. That's the difference between observed and expected of the first observation. Okay, now just drag down it here till the end. So these are the all values between the difference between the observed and expected. Okay, uh, next we need the absolute values. Uh, so for these uh, difference between observed and expected, so just click equal and A B S, which uh, represent for the absolute in excel sheet okay so just double click on absolute uh, that's a b s and now we need this column to absolute so just click the first value and i just put another bracket and just enter okay so now just uh, look at here that minus value is changed to plus value that minus 0.26 is set shifted to point uh, plus point two six okay now i just drag down it till the end and this is the absolute values all the minus are changed to plus while the plus will remain uh, positive positive value will remain positive value while the negative values is changed to positive values okay uh, next uh, we need uh, for mean square error uh, that's observed minus expected difference and that's a square Okay, so now just I put here equal and uh, just a, I put a bracket. Okay, and now we need to square this column. That uh, OT at specific time, the observed values minus expected values on uh, some uh, specific time. Okay, so B2, D2, and just I put another bracket here and then shift this is the square this is the formula for find out the square just click enter okay 0 0.07 this is the square of minus 0.26 okay uh, now i just drag down it till the end and it will provide okay all the square values for the ot that's observed values minus expected values okay uh, now i need the total of these values okay so i just Select it and just sum these values. Okay, uh, this is not right. Okay, I just put again this one and sum. This is the sum for the first, and this is the sum for the second. And you can also sum. Uh, we don't need, but uh, we can sum this as well. This is the sum. Okay, and uh, now we find uh, like the calculation is very easy just for MAE. MAE that is mean absolute error. So mean absolute error is actually equal to the sum of the absolute values. This is the sum of the absolute value, this column. Okay, uh, so what we have to do for MAE here we have 
Okay, now uh, this is the total values. So equal, this is the sum and divide by 13. That's the n. So this is our mean absolute error. Okay, next uh, we have m is e. That's m is e. Okay, and m is e is equal to the square. That's the square. Okay, that's the square we have. And this is the total. That's the total values. So I put this F15 and divide by 13 and just enter. Okay, so this is the M is E values mean square error and the R M is E R M S E is very simple. Just square root the M is E for square root. You have to click here is Q. Okay, that's the square root and just put the m is e value and just i put another bracket and enter this is the square root uh, so i hope uh, uh, there you will find it uh, easy now uh, that's actually we have uh, to find out the three values m a e and m is e and r m is e so this is the way how you find this uh, values in excel sheet thanks for watching video